Hello everybody, welcome to Optimist Pessimist. I'm going to try something different. Um, Rebrand a little bit. So you guys don't know if I'm going to like something or hate something at the start of the video. Um, today I'm talking about Total Recall. Uh, will, I, will I love it or hate it? And I'm talking about the remake, not the, uh, not the original. Still have yet to see the original. Um, most of the comparisons I see between both are that the original much more stylistic um it's it's more fun it's campy in a way but uh it's great and it's one of you know you know people love arnold schwarzenegger i think when he's not terminator he's very he's a very bitter pill to swallow <laughs> he's really he's very much an acquired taste even my brother-in-law loves him as conan the barbarian he still preferred um Fuck, what is his name? Jason Momoa as Conan in the remake. He's like, he's a much better Conan. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. He's like, his build isn't like Aquaman yet. Like, he's still pretty, like, he's got some muscle on him, but he's not fucking Arnold. But that's not how he was intended to be anyway. I'm like, really? I saw this movie with my mom um, alongside Dark Knight Rises. Watched the Dark Knight Rises first. Then I watched this one, I think. Um, here's my piss poor review from back um, back in 2012. Total Recall is a remake of Schwarzenegger film brought to us by Original Film Productions. How ironic! I love this film, but my mom and apparently everyone else but me hated this film because a line of dialogue from the original film is missing. I don't get people. Fuck the police. The government lies. This movie kicks ass. Watch it. I haven't seen it since, um, but I I liked it. Uh, I think. What's his name? Did a great job, Colin Farrell, who who loves doing remakes. Fucking love, loves doing remakes. Fright Night, fucking um, what's the one that I was like, what? <sighs> the Beguiled. And I was like, they're remaking the Beguiled. What the fuck? Like I just watched that one. Brian Cranston was in this movie. Jesus Christ. It's been a long time. Um, it's based on the 1990 film The Same Name, which was inspired by the 1966 short story, and we can remember it for you wholesale. Let's talk about the plot. At the end of the 21st century, Earth is devastated by chemical warfare. Precious remaining habit habitable land is found in just two territories, the United Federation of Britain, UFB, located on the British Isles in northwestern Europe, and the colony, covering Australia. Factory workers living in the colony quickly commute to the UFB each day via the fall, a gravity elevator through the Earth's core, which takes 17 minutes to traverse. A resistance operating in the UFB, which the UFB views as a terrorist movement, seeks to improve living conditions in the colony. Colony citizen Douglas Quaid has been having dreams of being a secret agent aided by an unnamed woman. Tired of his factory job building police robots with friend Harry, he visits Rec Recall, a company that implants artificial memories. Quaid chooses a fantasy as a secret agent. An emblem of recall is stamped onto his arm and just as the fantasy is being loaded by technician McLean, they discover that Quaid already has real memories of being a spy. As McLean starts to question Quaid about the memories, a squad of UFB police burst in, kill the recall staff, and attempt to arrest Quaid. Let's skip the rest of this shit. Um, recall just the fucking Quaid slash Carl Hauser. The entire film is just like He's just trying to figure out what the fuck's going on, and it's pretty much the same as the original, save for some minor differences here and there. Some some would call major, but I mean it's it's more bleak. I would say the original Total Recall had a very stylistic choice to it. Like I said earlier, it's bland compared to the original. Um, just like all grays and blacks, and it's just really dark colors and it's like ugh, like this is all not that good until they go into like the nightlife segment and there's like some fucking colorful shit here and there oh the sun's out this is cool but everything's still fucking just it's the fucking apocalypse basically it's really shitty living conditions i don't see him in the cast list but there is there's a there's an extended director's cut 
Um, Ethan Hawke appears uncredited as Hauser's original appearance in the director's cut. In this ver uh, version, both Hauser's memory and physical appearance were heavily altered by the UFB to turn him into Quaid. But uh, it, it adds another layer with Ethan Hawke playing Carl Hauser. It's like he can't be the same person. So it's like it question like, it makes you question like, oh my god, is this is he not Carl Hauser? Is he not really Carl Hauser? Um, but yeah, no, he's totally Carl Hauser the whole time. Um, what's unlike the first film, the settings on dystopian Earth. That's right, it's Mars in the original. Um, I'm I'm talking like I remember, like I've watched that fucking movie. Um, fucking the line that I referred to um, was it Kate Beckinsale is in this movie? Is that who it is? Kate Beckinsale plays Lori. Um, an undercover agent posing as Quaid's wife. In the original, who the fuck was it? So it's, it's a big actress. Is it Rachel? It's not uh, Sharon Stone. So both of them, like, so there's, it's very fucking '90s. It's 1990. It came out right when the '90s started. It's like fucking punchline heavy. So. In the original, spoilers for the original and spoilers for this one, they're like on a car or something like that, and she's chasing him most of the movie when it's revealed that they're not really married, never were. He pulls a gun out, Schwarzenegger does in the original, and he goes, I want a divorce, I want a divorce, <sighs> shoots her and she fucking blows her fucking head off, and it's fucking awesome. Yeah, fuck yeah. In this one, I'm sitting next to my mom, same scene. They cut that line of dialogue. They didn't have that line of dialogue. He just, bam, shoots her. I think he says, he might say something, but it's not like punchline. It's just like, bye or something. I don't fucking remember what he said. But he shoots her and my mom's like, nope, fuck this movie. I'm like, he doesn't say it. He doesn't say it. I'm like, so? What the fuck? I, you can't have a total recall without, I want a divorce. I'm like, you, you go and see a remake because it's a fucking remake. They're remaking it. If you want... My mom goes and sees remakes for the the wrong... Re Sorry, Mom. I know you're going to watch this. But you don't go and see a remake and go, it has to have this. It has to have that. No, that's a, that's called a nostalgia grab. It's it's just trying to fucking get you to come in and be like, oh, I love this. I love this. It reminds me of the original. So therefore, I love this one too. It's like, no, that's not what you do. That's not what remakes are for. The point of a remake is to fucking remake that film in a completely different way. Maybe you stay on the same track, but you divulge here and there in different ways. I, I fucking liked Total Recall. I liked this film. A lot of people didn't. Mostly negative reviews. It received praise for its action sequences and acting, but the lack of humor, emotional subtlety, and character development drew criticism. But they like the acting and acting sequences. The acting was good. But they hate this film. You want to know why? Because they fucking were judging it based on the original. Which is, it's to be expected. With a remake or a sequel, anything that's tied to an original, people are going to judge the fuck out of it based on that first one. And it's fair. Um, but in this case, kind of unfair. It's not a bad movie. Action sequences and acting are great. No humor. No emotional subtlety, so okay. Character development. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, that's that's my thoughts on Total Recall. And uh, yeah, it's the film, the film Optimist. Yeah. This is stupid. I might just do like, hey, film Optimist, film, film. I might, I might do it that way. My thought process is going into it, um... Ooh, what's he gonna be? An optimist or a pessimist? And it's fucking dumb. Um, I could probably like put some, with some editing and some cool shit like that, maybe. But it's the film optimist. Thank you guys for watching. Um, what did you think of the remake of Total Recall? Did you watch it? Do you totally recall watching it? Um, how does it stack up to the original? You probably fucking hate this one compared to the original. Um, if you haven't seen the original and you've seen this one, you probably like me or you probably hate it too. You guys have a good one.